You may have heard that syphilis cases are on the rise in the US. We're gonna talk about what syphilis looks like, how you can get it, test for it, and treat it. Syphilis is a sexually transmitted infection, or STI, caused by a bacteria, Treponemum pallidum. While it's not the most common STI, syphilis cases in the United States are going up. In fact, since 2010, cases have increased over 400%. It's actually a common STI worldwide as well. Within the United States, syphilis is more common in some areas, as well as in specific populations, like men who have sex with men and men in their mid to late 20s. It can be tricky to tell if someone has syphilis because there are a variety of stages that have different symptoms, and sometimes there are no symptoms at all. The primary stage is most commonly associated with something called a chancre, which is a painless lesion in the private area where primary infection occurred. The secondary phase of syphilis is associated with other skin manifestations, as well as fever. The skin manifestations can include a rash that might be seen on the palms and soles, mucosal lesions or sores, and those are gonna be sores within the mouth and on the gum line. There's also something called condyloma lata, which is basically white growths that occur in warm, moist areas of the body. Then there's tertiary syphilis. Tertiary syphilis is when the syphilis has spread to other organs of the body. This includes the skin, but also the subcutaneous tissue, the cardiovascular system, sometimes even the bone. The final stage of syphilis is neurosyphilis, and that's when syphilis has gone on to infect the brain and the spinal cord. It can cause things like meningitis, hearing or vision loss, or dementia. The main way that someone gets syphilis is through sexual contact with a partner who's infected. There used to be cases where syphilis was spread through blood transfusions, but that really doesn't happen anymore. It's also possible if a pregnant person has syphilis that they spread it to their unborn baby through the placenta. Like other STIs, the best way to prevent spread of syphilis is using barrier protection, like a condom. It's also important to get regular testing for syphilis and other STIs. If someone finds out they have syphilis, it might seem scary at first, but the treatment is actually very straightforward. Because syphilis is a bacteria, the treatment is an antibiotic. When caught in its early stages, syphilis is very curable. The problem comes up when syphilis had spread on to cause other organ damage. So it's best to get treatment as soon as you find out you have syphilis. I hope you found this video informative. If you wanna learn more, subscribe to our channel. And if you have questions for us, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.